Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Few True Villains podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. Jeremy, the Coach Brooks, but I'm not here. Just the mom. God, that's a terrible name. Brian, Brian, Matt, Peacock. <laughs> we haven't figured out my name yet. Just a mom. I don't know. I'm a mom. I thought we did. Oh, man. I thought you had a name. Just the mess? I don't know. So so I'm just hilarious. Be, so I'm also Jeremy the Black. Okay. Now they know. <laughs> Yeah, if they didn't know by now, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't. I don't have a name. He's tripod. You guys bestowed that name upon him. I don't no, know. no, that was given to me by somebody. Yeah, yeah. He was walking around. No, it was it winter coronation? Yeah. Someone was like, "Hey, tripod." He told me about it. I was like, "That's your name now." Yeah, I didn't have a name. What was gonna be my name, Brooksy? Yeah. But if you want credit for being there, I need to get you signed up. Can I just be Obi Jess? Who? Yeah. But you're Obi Jess. I'm Obi Jess Kenobi. You do what you do, there Obi. You go. So People are just going to think you're an Obi Trice fan. <laughs> no. It's Obi Jess Kenobi. They know that it's I get an Obi Wan Kenobi thing. I don't or know they're going to think you're an Obi Trice fan. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Rapper. I don't know who that is either. I don't listen to that I don't crap. think he's a thing anymore. I'm into the hip hop community and I don't know who you're talking about. I ain't in no hip hop community. <laughs> I'm more of the bluegrass community. You like um, the Dead South? What the hell? What what are we doing? We're doing a podcast. How about what? Podcast. Oh, we're, go ahead, man. Ta- we're talking. Do you like the Dead South? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, me too. This is. Oh, has he not been <laughs> on one of the these podcasts? Yeah. yeah. Usually yeah. it's about LARP, but. No, we've been on a rental uh, when Kim and Jess was on it. Oh yeah. This is just the whatever podcast, but we are here today to talk about fuck the- Joe Reagan. Reagan. Wow. Who's Joe Reagan? What's his name? Rogan. Rogan. Check that. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck Joe Rogan. That's from like three episodes ago of the other podcast. I've been saying it every day. He, he said it wakes. He, first thing he said, he wakes. Oh, ah, slept. Can we make? Can we make like a short film? Based around that, of yeah. Brooks just waking up every day and saying, fuck Joe Rogan. And it's just, because <laughs> he looks over and it's just on TV. Like, Joe Rogan's just there talking. He's like, oh. But it's actually like a love story. Fuck <laughs> both of y'all. <laughs> no, I like the idea of, yeah, of him having a poster of Joe Rogan. <laughs> just like punching it every day. He has a picture of Joe Rogan in his wallet for any time he's really happy so he can just look at it and get mad. <laughs> You know what I have in my wallet to look at and get mad? <laughs> my debit me. card. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Every you off the hook, Jess. This is debit good. card. Every time I look at that debit card, I'm like, you mother. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I need a new debit card because mine is literally falling apart. Is yours orange? Yeah. I hate the orange ones. Yeah. This is my third one. I, think. I want a different card. They just sent me a fucking <laughs> orange. I hate that Hey, what's shit. your debit card number? Yeah, great. Piss it off. <laughs> oh, you're talking to me. Yeah. You thought I was that dumb. <laughs> Comment down below with your credit card number. No, and don't we do will that. No, go we'll ahead. Take your credit card number to Patreon and give us some money. <laughs> so we can buy things for the make show better. There. There's a Patreon plug. Yeah. Give me some money. I can't buy talent. I, I like money. <laughs> I'm just yeah, you can. I'm well, you can buy beer. Batman can. Oh, yeah. You're right. Fuck Batman. <gasps> Whoa. Fuck the brakes. Some people would. Uh, I just I just been told to get out, so you can find me on Twitter at Jeremy. <laughs> 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 so we are here to talk about the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. Whoop Barf. Barf. <laughs> I didn't go. I it was so that. fucking bad. What? what? I'm it wasn't playing. bad at all. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> it was awesome. Hey. I had the best time of my life. He didn't go. I didn't go. He didn't go. You're, he, he's here to do the Future Heels podcast. He's, he's going Saturday, though. We're going to go. You going? I got to work. Hey, you know? know. <laughs> y'all going to write me a check? How much you want to check for? Hmm, the Patreon subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> go to patreon.com yeah, slash future villains. Huh? The viewers can't yeah, see the look that was exchanged. So then they're not viewers, are they? Listeners, whatever. <laughs> well, uh, we can solve that. Go to patreon.com slash future villains so we can get Brooks a check so he doesn't have to work. And uh, the same thing so we can become viewers and not listeners. <laughs> yeah. Or we just go Facebook Live. 
We need a set. We need something with decent. Just hang a fucking tarp right there. I'm not gonna hang a tarp. Well, you know, make it pretty. (laughs) You know, put some glitter on it. You said hang a tarp. You didn't say all that stuff at first. I wasn't done. Okay. You love inner. What the fuck is this shit? Put a green screen up. You so you can edit more. Brooksy, no phone time. Uh, I'm, I'm studying. About the if my phone podcast. wasn't at literally zero percent right now because it's not charging. I'm looking at what Jess was talking about earlier. Okay. What was I talking about? Us dying. You guys talk. What? The non-humans. Oh yeah, the non-humans. That. Some right. Cons- talk about the Ren Fair. I don't want to talk about some that. Some conspiracy <laughs> theory. Actually, outer limits. Yeah. Apparently, we're all uh, we're all dying April 18th the, from the non-humans. What, is, what was that other show? The Outer Limits and what else? Yeah, the X Files. No. The hell you doing? There's oh, another. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. There's another show that's. I'm trying to save you. Like the Outer Limits. Yeah, but the after birth come out. I think well, it was first. The Inner Limits. <laughs> oh, the Twilight Zone. That's why. Oh, okay. Black Mirror. Black Mirror too. What? Black Mirror is a good show. What? <laughs> Jeremy, not that kind of Black Mirror. Okay. <laughs> it's a show. That kind of Black Mirror. No, that's a black in the mirror. You need to get it right. No, I don't see no black in no fucking mirror. Oh, I'm sorry. So we watched... You must be colorblind. So we've been watching Black Mirror, and we just picked up uh, Westworld. Oh, we're not doing that either. No, hold on. Let's talk about the Malaysia thing. No, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, we are talking about that? No, I don't want to talk about it. You guys brought it up. It's terrifying. Hey, are we going to talk about the Renaissance Fair or not? Because I ain't been on the show today. We will talk about it, but this is apparently a big deal, this Malaysia Air Flight. Just the only one freaking out. Where did you see it? I saw it on Facebook. Stop. So it's true. <laughs> no, but... Literally, I Googled it. There were like 780 results. Yeah, it's terrifying. I mean, obviously, it's, it's not, not true. Real. Obviously, but just like, what if it is? No, it's not. Like, it's, what if it is? It's terrifying. Like, what? like, what like it's a terrifying thought to have. And also, you know what else I was... a terrifying thought to have? What, what? if Freddy Krueger is real? He is. <laughs> Don't say that. He Come is. On, guys. I, I almost, I almost, I, hey, I had a dream. Oh, there we go. I, I am right. so fucking glad I brought this up. <laughs> you know what else is terrifying though, real quick? Being alone with your thoughts. That's a damn truth. It's true. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's, that's her I'm problem. Thinking, no, for real. Last night, okay, I usually go to bed before Brian. Jess, you so need some moonshine. That's I'm what like you good. Know. I'm afraid of the dark. So I usually go Don't to bed before Brian, right. but I didn't. Listen, shut up. I oh. watched Westworld last night, which is kind of terrifying in and of itself. So that's your fucking fault. I don't care. So he oh, went to bed early, fault. and then I went to bed at like 2 a.m., and I'm just like scrolling through my phone, and I just stop on this shit. And mind you, it's 2 a.m., and I'm exhausted. So my brain is like all over the place, and I'm just thinking like, oh, my God, what if that's true? I'm like so scared right now. You need Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got that beer. Fuck the Benadryl. Get the girl drunk. I she got goes the captain. To... Where? You can't have it. What? Because it's a little bottle. Oh, I don't like the little bottle. You can eat a bottle. It's a them little it's tea. My, it's a mice. got a little captain. <laughs> I just got a little captain, yeah. Don't bring up no more Freddy Cougar shit, man. I almost had to have it the other night. Yeah, so what's this dream? I don't want to talk about it. I might have to shit again. You have to talk about dream. it now. Get it out. Dream. Dream. Get it out. You know what the hag is? Yeah. What's the hag? I don't know. A lot of you going to lie. You know what the hag is, Brian? No, but I, I want to hear about like it. The hang is... What? Barbecue? No, no, no. I, I'm genuinely interested. This, this is the thing I'm the most interested the hanging, about. The hang is you sleep on your back and you can't oh, wake up. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's like somebody's killing you in your dreams and stuff. Okay. The hack. Is it like a night terror? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, I don't like... You know there's a movie about it. I, I, had, I had one of them the other night. Ah. But my nose was stopped up because I got a cold. I oh, woke yeah, up. Oh, yeah, that's the worst. Right? But freaking, I thought it was Freddy Cooper. I drank like a half bottle of NyQuil. I couldn't sleep. I think that's what's supposed to do it to you, too. NyQuil? Yeah. Yeah, it brings out Freddy Krueger. Yeah. No, it just it can give <laughs> no. you night terrors. You bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I love Damn. Jess, by the way, man. Jess, put, we talk like all the time. But anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to clarify that yeah. for your listeners. Yeah. So, I drink, after I drank that half bottle of uh, NyQuil, I was watching something on my laptop. And I fell asleep. And I, I remember my dream. I was driving up in Nashville. And I went in the woods part on the mountains. And my damn car broke. And, you know, it's like every black person in the damn movie, their car break down. They beat him, <laughs> be the first one to fucking die. So I get out of the car like a dumbass. 
And check on the hood. I was just about to say that. As you do. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I get out of the car. Then all of a sudden I hear my echo, Friday's coming. Oh my God. And I'm like. You didn't hear the song? No, just up. I'm sorry. (laughs) And like. That wasn't me. See, y'all, he playing. I am fucking crazy. I will fuck. I love that in your dream world, people, smart people stay in their cars. But you get out. At any point in time in your dream where you're like, oh, this is probably a bad idea. I do something because like, I felt myself trying to get up, but I couldn't wake up. Oh, God. And like, <laughs> it, their voice kept on getting louder and louder and louder. Then I shot up and I was sweating and shit. I ain't go back to sleep. <laughs> I sucked. Because I was late for work. <laughs> if, I, if I pulled up to a car in the middle, like, the middle of the night and it looked like it was broken down someone just sitting in their driver's seat, I would not approach that car. No. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys about the, the little kid on this side of the man, road? I'm fucked up, man. Went years and years ago over there uh, by LKQ yep. in Lakanto. Me and my buddy Don were driving down the road and we saw a little kid on the side of the road laying down. And we oh. turned around to find out what the hell was going on. It was a two-by-four. With children's clothes on it. That's fucking terrifying. Son of a bitch. We kept going. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> it's a hard one. What do you suppose that is? I'm like, I don't care. That could have been a bomb. Yeah, it's a trap. That's what that is. Yeah. Call it a trap. I can't come out because I love. I can't. I don't know the shit. I don't know what the There's hell a that road was. over I by. Was... Um, okay. <laughs> not, not Howard's flea market. The, the flea market in Lakanto is like the big empty field. We are definitely not talking about a Renaissance. Cowboy right? Junction? Yes, thank you. There's a road right near there that's a dirt road. If you go down it, that's where they filmed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No, it's not. Swear to God, it's a giant white house. They didn't film no Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's a giant Massacre white house, just like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Go County. down it sometime. And it's a, it's a tiny little one-way dirt road. We we went down that road and I'd saw like that house. I have uh, one of... Lance <laughs> is the biggest Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. I'm not saying they actually did. Okay. They could have. They he oh, did say they filmed have. it. I did. Okay. If they would have, I'm exaggerating. I'm full of shit. I know, Jacob, but I, <laughs> look. But at <laughs> the end of the day, if they did, they would tear that building down. I think. What's the address? Maybe. Because they, they did that with uh, what's the movie they did? Then uh, oh, uh, Jeepers uh, Creepers. They yeah. tore the church down because people kept on going. Really? Apartment. I didn't know that. But uh, yeah, we went down this little dirt road because we were trying to turn around, and we were just like, oh shit, it's a dirt road. It's like tiny. We can't get all the way down it. And eventually, we came across that house, and Don just flew it, flipped it in reverse. <laughs> Look here. All the way down that I'll road. take y'all to a, a, I'll oh, take y'all yeah. to a haunted house. It was just the AC turning off. So oh. the Ren Faire. The what? Oh, yeah. It's terrifying. Oh, we don't want to get into, I'm not even going to say it. Can you stop? I have to work tonight. My exorcism. But we'll leave that for a whole other We should episode. talk about your exorcism one day. You got one, too? This is like a common theme in this group. I need one. <laughs> uh, so the Red Fair. So. There's a lot of mystical shit in the Red Fair. You're just going to talk about your, you're just going to leave them hanging like that? Yeah. Like, yes. We, gotta, we will talk about That's basically what you're doing your exorcism anyway, leave you hanging. Jeremy, shut the fuck up. I'm so done with you. What? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> what I do? I need some Jesus. <laughs> Man. So does Jesus. <laughs> so. I'm done. Rent fair. Was, I think it was worth. It, it wasn't too far of a drive. It was an hour and a half drive. Far enough. There's an ongoing theme where if you follow our episodes, yes, we live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And it takes us forever to get anywhere. But at the same time, not. Because, like, everything's like an hour and a half away. You didn't take Song Coast? No. We took, like, 75. For some reason. You should have took Song Coast. Yeah, we should have. Got that fast. No, this is the fastest way. It's not. Does it? Mm-hmm. No. We went by the GPS. Yeah. Jacob, you don't know. Are I you do? a GPS? I used to live in Tampa. Oh, well. We, we used to go to Bush Gardens every day. Yeah, every day. Every day. <laughs> so, it was near Bush Gardens. It was. It's right next door to Mosey. Every time, like, Suncoast is like straight, you never stop driving. Every time we'd slow down, I'd be like, look at me, look at me moving right now. <laughs> I hate, I hate Suncoast. I hate, uh, talk about the fair. Okay. Um, I'm getting off top again. 
Yes, yeah, so it was the Bay Area Renaissance Fair. It was the Shamrocks and Shenanigans weekend. I mean, there's a bunch of people in like green shirts, but I didn't see any like over overall. This gonna theme. be like a LARP episode. Yeah, it is. Uh, Kim asked me if it was Dogs Weekend. That long? That is that. I think that happened already. Okay, there's a lot of dogs there. Yeah, you're not supposed to have pets there. What? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can bring your dogs in, guys. I are, hate that. Are you sure? Yes, I was hearing someone talking about it. There was a lot of dogs. There. But did you read the rules on the website? You I believe the read. rules on the website say no. Just says so she can't read, y'all. It's funny know. coming Just from go. someone who has a bookshelf full of books. A bookshelf full of bullshit. <laughs> They're all pop-up not- books. <laughs> <laughs> That would be great. I hate I hate when oh, people oh. bring their dogs everywhere. Oh yeah, and with a book tattoo on my leg, so yeah, I don't read guys. Those also are pop up books. I agree, Jeremy. <laughs> it's the worst. It's <laughs> like you go to a Renaissance fair and you know you eating something, and your fucking dog is looking at you. Like, the fuck you looking at? <laughs> yeah, kicking want, your fucking face. They yeah. want some. Well, yeah. they yeah, ain't I getting none. Like my mom, when my mom was at Real King, so Real King, you're allowed to bring your dogs in the store. Can't you bring your chickens too? You can bring anything you want. You can bring your dog into any store. Look here, that's a bad idea. Cause if somebody bring a fucking a vicious dog, yeah, around other dogs and they came walk yeah. it without getting dragged, in a in a freaking retail store. Well, you can't. Bad ask, news. You cannot ask them if it's a service dog. Huh? That's the only. You're only allowed to bring a dog in if it's a service dog. I thought you're you not allowed to ask. Who I are you thought talking you could about? Ask if it's a service dog, but that's it. Oh, you talking about the restaurant fair? I'm just talking about period and retail and stuff. No, yeah, Royal so King, you ain't got it. You can bring any kind of dog you want. Oh, yeah, that might be different for Royal King. Royal King and actual dog. service dogs are supposed to be clearly marked as well. Yeah. But I, I guess that's just my managers were wrong about that at office. Where matters. did you guys go to law school? On we, the internet. We had a guy who would bring in this giant dog every once in a while, and we just couldn't ask him because he said it was a service dog. And it pooped at our store nah, almost that. every time. Real king, somebody brought in one of them damn big-ass pit bulls. So I'm talking about this dude, his head was humongous. Because therapy animals and service animals right. are two different things. Yeah. Yes, they are internet. <laughs> service animals are trained for service. For blind people and things like that. People that need You can it. get a service dog thing like there that. You can get a go. therapy animal. No, you can get emotion- one off of eBay. That's the only way you can get an emotional support animal because they're not. It, there's no regulation on it. You just get the sign. So can Luna be a just, therapy cat? I'll yes, it's like 35 bucks. So what the hell would you want to talk to your animal? No, know. not that kind of therapy. Oh. Well, 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 it's just a, an animal that there's makes different you feel, kinds of therapy. It's not yeah. all talking. There's, you know, what physical therapy is. So you just talk. It's like your when pain. you're freaking out, you're emotional. Your pet calms you down. That's why you keep it with you. Oh, that's why someone tried to bring a peacock on an airplane. <laughs> What's it's his name, Brian? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Two no, points. but someone actually did. So, and actually, someone did bring a miniature horse on an airplane. Did you hear about? We shouldn't talk about. We should talk about the Red Fair. But did we you shouldn't. hear about the dog that died on the United Airlines? Yeah. That's so sad. Yeah. What? what? Yeah, they they made these people put their little dog in a in the. A... You know it sucks. Yeah. You know that. All I hope they donate to a Chinese restaurant. I bet it was from trauma oh, from all those. Situations. No, there's no air in those things. Oh really? Yeah. And what things? And like. Well, why would well there we must have been enough because it barked for two damn hours. <laughs> Brian, it's not funny. It's oh, shit. <laughs> what word? What, what? You were not. <laughs> disclaimer, he was not on that flight. What? what uh, God damn that. it, Brian. Uh-huh. I got lightheaded. I think I would know that. You don't know what to do for what. That was a real slow burn for Brian. <laughs> no, it's just. Oh. Where did they put him? They put it in the overhead bed. They made yeah, them things like freaking lock yourself in the closet. No a lot air. of stuff on airplanes is like very, very airtight and locked very well. And so but, a dog was above everybody's head barking, and nobody did nothing about it. And then it stopped barking after a while. Yeah, supposedly it barked for two hours. And mm-hmm. what the hell? That was fine. I don't know. A two-hour flight's not uncommon. 
I mean, if you're going, I mean, it's like from here, Tampa to New York or Orlando, New York is two hours. They should yeah. have been able to put it like in their lap or underneath. Or just leave the motherfucker thing at the house. There's yeah. no way that it's two hours from Orlando to New York because it's, it is two hours and fifty nine minutes from Orlando to Providence, Rhode Island. Actually, it is because I've flown it in high school. It took us two hours. It's forty five minutes from here in North Carolina. That's all I know. So anyway. <laughs> Apparently, the dog was in a... What? It wasn't like a hard New York is higher case. up than okay. It's just... I can't help it. It's fucking two hours. <laughs> it's one... Apparently, it supposedly not, it was the one... No way. Look it up. I didn't see the picture. There are pictures Don't of the take dog. It. I won, Mommy. I won. I won. I won. Jess, oh my God. Your voice got high. <laughs> <laughs> we never introduced... We never let Riley introduce herself. <laughs> She's always on the show. But she won. She won. She won. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I guess it wasn't like a standard dog carrier or something either. I don't know. When they start letting you bring pets on flies, on oh, flies, <laughs> on planes now. Always. Really? Yeah. I thought you couldn't do that. You have to pay extra. Oh. I like I won't be sitting next to a goddamn, you know, hamster or a snake or some shit. Yeah. Well, I guess the, the lady on the United Airlines that made them put it up there was real nasty about it. Mm-hmm. Two hours and 40 minutes. Boom. Boom. To work. From Orlando to New York. That's what I said. From get a faster to, well, plane. Which, which city? Get, did, or which, get a faster plane. Which city did you go to? New York City. We got dropped off in New York, actually, New Jersey. Burn. How, how you, is it? New York. New York. New York. Damn. It's like carabiner, carboner. You know. Shut up. <laughs> it's spelled. Two hours and forty minutes. I said two hours. And forty minutes. Oh, okay. I, I'm. Oh, that's like left changing the pocket. Who cares? Then tell me how the hell it takes two hours and 59 minutes to get to Rhode Island. Because nobody want to go to Rhode Island. Because it takes two hours and 59 minutes to get to Rhode Island. That's how we're going to tell you. Who the fuck wants to go to Rhode Island? Me. I used to live there. Oh. Oh, so did that one guy. She got a big ass bunny rabbit in her town. (laughs) It's a golden bunny rabbit. (laughs) It's a brass bunny rabbit. That's where them eggs come from. No, No chocolate eggs. Shout out to the Bullet Club guy I met in the villages, by the way. If you're listening. Comment down below. Let me know you listened. Did you give him a talking, podcast? Talking about <laughs> no, I, I gave him a card to the Amp Guard page so he can find our videos. Y'all bathroom about to get destroyed. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's why that, that sneaky exit just happened. Um, Who'd you meet in the villages? Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, this dude was wearing a Kenny Omega shirt. How old was he? He was like my age, maybe a little younger. Nice. Yeah. I fuck with the villages. I like the villages. And he was a LARPer, too. Not oh, like yeah, our, yeah. like, not like our LARP, but a different kind. Okay. But he would, like, he would fit in the one we do. Nice. Jess, how did you, how did you enjoy the uh, Renaissance Fair? Oh, I had a good time for the most part. We won't get into that. Yeah, we won't <laughs> get into that. It's not funny, Brian, you were mean. I was not. What was your favorite part? Um, a lot of that had to do with what Riley was doing. <laughs> so it was all on Riley. Probably when Riley held the snake. That was really cool. That's fucked up. That's Why? disgusting. Snakes on that. That was a big no. ass. It was huge. Did you see the picture? Is it albino? I don't want to look at a snake. It was an albino python. Don't ever let Riley do that again. Had it around her neck. She don't wanted do to. She don't was so trust excited. me. Hey, I did some research on that shit. Those things can turn your ass in a heartbeat. Just like a lion doing this in the in circus. I would have bit it in half if it did anything. I can see you doing that. She would have, yeah. I would have used my teeth to destroy it. Yeah, I would have killed it. If Jess would have did that, we would have steak jerky. (laughs) Yeah. They had jerky booths set up. We didn't get any, but we should have. What's Uh, how you going, Saturday? uh, Not crazy early like we did, but... I can't go Saturday. We didn't go crazy early. We went at 8 a.m. That's That's not crazy crazy early. early. That is crazy early. No, we got there when they opened. Yeah, at 10. Yeah. Yeah, I can't call off work. But are, are you working Sunday? You gonna come out Sunday. to the park day on Sunday? Yeah, the car will get in here, yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, the Ren Fair was cool. We started off with we. It was cool because we got in there early, like we were, they were still like siphoning people in, and um, so there was a uh, one of the first pubs you go into. It's um, they had the. <laughs> The Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this perfection. <laughs> I bet you this gets edited out. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> you don't think he'll let no. us out? I no. Know. If he hear what I hear, he will. <laughs> hey, Jacob. Shut that back. damn door. So I try to keep it professional. Turn the fan on. I try. Get, Get some damn, lights on. That damn bomb in there. Why are you trying to keep it professional? You're, you might edit that out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, yeah, we, anyway, Brian, go ahead. Yeah, anyway. Like I was saying, um, like one of the first like pubs you got you to... You wash your hands. <laughs> one of the first pubs you got to go in, like we went into, had the Iron Throne set up. Oh, that was so cool. Actually, I, had, I filmed the, uh, the intro to that. We didn't watch that. No. But... Jacob deleted it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that was a good intro. Good. Um, and then they had the, uh, the Wall of Faces... Where's that at? Bravos. Oh yeah, that's what I thought it was. It just feels I so think. weird to say the word Bravos. But yeah, Why? you're right. Huh? I, no, I don't think it's in Bravos. No. Um, there's, I can't remember what it's called. I'm sure, I'm gonna get called out by fans on this. Ooh. I should know because I have all the books. I have the books. So you get called know. out by fans because you're not a real one. Uh, excuse you. Oh, Lord. I read the books before it was a show. Don't even start. Okay. It's a garbage show, anyways. Uh-oh. Actually, you have the coin of the faceless man. Which is what the whole thing was about. It was cool, anyway. It was a Game of Thrones pub. And we should have had... We should have eaten there. Fuck Game of Thrones. Jeez, guys, come on. No, I'm with Brooks. Fuck Game of Thrones. It's a good Shut show. Shut up. It's nasty. It's a good show. It's stupid. Garbage show. It's a good show. It's pretty show. stupid. Why is it stupid? Because it is. You know what's a good yeah, show? That's what I thought. Ballers. That's even stupid. What? Yeah. I, think I picked that one because I thought you would go along Well, because I'm black? Yeah, that's exactly no. why you picked it. Because you like football. That's profile. No, that's fake shit. I thought it was basketball. It is, it's, it's, it's all sports. Oh, no, it's football. No, they do other sports than that, don't they? No. It's still stupid. I know it's The Rock. It's great. That's why it's great. It's on BET and it's on HBO. What's the difference? <laughs> HBO has Game of Thrones <laughs> and Westworld. And Westworld's the, pretty good. And the twelve o'clock special every night. No, I don't think so. They got rid of that. Stars. Huh? Oh, well, Cinemax. Yeah, Cinemax. Oh yeah, Cinemax. Cinemax. Yeah. Well, just watch the Game of Thrones. What's the difference? You're right. Yeah, pretty much. Nasty shit. So we watch Game of Thrones. So uh, Red Fair. <laughs> yeah. Um. And there were mermaids, and there were pirates. Wait, did we see the mermaid? mermaid? No. We walked past the mermaid cove. We didn't see the mermaid. Jess must have said ten times. What did she say ten times? She must have said ten times when we were close to leaving. The mermaids were over there. The mermaids were over there. The mermaids were over there. Jess, did you want to see the mermaids? Riley did. Oh. Yep. But then we decided to leave instead of going to see the mermaids. Why? Because we didn't know where the mermaids were. Jess did. Mom did. Daddy knew where the mermaids were. They're over by the, uh... Over on the Renaissance Fair, yeah. Jess, give her the phone back. (laughs) It's the phone! Riley, go take the phone back from your mom. Or find something else quiet to do. (laughs) We'll we'll do it on the other side of the couch. Yeah. What is that? <clears throat> Go in your room That's and find a balloon, balloon that we hear. The whole <laughs> so would you recommend the um, Renaissance Festival? Yes. I would. Okay, so I've been to three so far. I've been to Hogtown twice, two or three times. I've been to the Lady of the Lake Renaissance Hogtown, Fair. Hogtown, like Gainesville? Yeah, it's yeah. in Gainesville. Uh, Lady of the Lake Renaissance Fair, which is in Tavares. T- Tavares. What? Can we have this argument now? No, we can't. The fuck you mean Tavers? It's Tavares. Is it? Yeah. I, I've heard Tavers my entire life. Like he said Tavares. It's Tavares. A friend, of, a friend of mine says it's Tavers. Your friend retarded. It's Tavares. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. The hell, man? Carboner. <laughs> and then uh, this one. This is my first time. They might have Mount Dora Explorer. Mount Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Mount Dora is cool. I love Mount Dora. At least I don't call them carbiners anymore. <laughs> Jacob said beaners. Ooh. And then uh, this is my first time going to this one. And I would say this one is number one. Like this one. Well, it's a, it's a, one. That one's always been big over there. Yeah, it's it's the biggest one we get in Florida. Um, 
I like Lady of the Lake is the second, and then Hogtown. Unfortunately, Hogtown is third. Maybe it's because I've been to that one a couple times and I'm used to it. What's the money range like for uh, this one in Tampa? Uh, they all, all the ticket prices are about the same. They're always usually around twenty bucks. And it looks like they give away tickets like crazy. Oh, they do. Go check out their Facebook. And like once a week, they're like, "Oh, free ticket Tuesday, free ticket Friday." Uh, buy one get one weekend. That's how I got tickets for the Super Bowl. They were doing buy one get one free. It's in a way, it's like the State Fair. Like that, because the State Fair always has yeah. cheap tickets and buy one, get one yeah. tickets, and kids get in free, all that crap. Go to State Fair, get your ass, we'll go home. Yeah, and what? kids under five get in free. Um, food was expensive, but, you know, what do you expect? I just, that it's, was my next question, too. And yeah. again, it's fair food. It wasn't that bad, the price, I don't think. What'd for, you eat, Jess? Yeah, you guys look at her, because I can't look at her right now. Why? <laughs> That, oh, okay. It was, it was seven dollars. Okay, for, for for what? For a burger, a single burger. But oh, I know for a, for a fact, okay, yeah, I thought it was like a meal. Cost about sixty cents, because Cisco used to give us them burgers. <laughs> those burgers, please. Those. What did she say? Them. Those burgers. You just got corrected. Oh, I was going back to my Chicken King days. <laughs> When I give her them burgers, I'm going to give her them burgers. Your damn burgers and fries. Yeah. You used to give us those burgers. Those burgers. As soon, seriously, as soon as you would hand it to me, I was like, damn it. Because <laughs> I hate <laughs> those things. It's a good ass burger. It's supposed to be like that. Bunless burger, by the way. Yes, it was a bunless burger for her. I don't eat carbs. <laughs> so... And I I mean the pulled pork sandwich I had was good. Yeah, it was it was probably. What's like, that face for? You start growing. What the fuck are you growing for? Should we tell the listeners about? No, no we ain't got enough time. <laughs> we ain't got enough time. It was it was all it was fair food. It was super easy to prep way ahead. Our burgers took what like seven minutes because they said we have to make them and then they were cold. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. were really cold. <laughs> oh, you had to cook your own burger. No, they were like, it's going to be five to ten minutes so we can cook burgers. Oh. And I was like, rad. Okay, we get fresh burgers. Yeah. And they... <laughs> they're microwave. They're, they're they just said microwave rad. ready. He said rad. Yes. He said rad. He said they rad. had okay, a grill back wicked. there. I heard the grill going. You say what? I say wicked. Yeah. It's just a speaker. I ain't hear that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the grill sounded like a speaker. That's a northern thing. We have two conversations People going People sit down here Yes, we do. Because all the northerners want to We can't do that, guys. Could you imagine if the listeners are having a conversation? With themselves? Y'all kiss my ass. Is that rain? It's raining, God guys. Dang, I can it's gonna rain right. like it rained all day and it's probably gonna rain all day tomorrow. It's supposed to be nasty tomorrow. Is that rain? I'm so excited. Bro, where you been? It's been like No, like that's wind, not rain. No, that's no, rain. That's rain. It's both. Rain. It's been like Both. Probably. Both. Both. So the Renaissance Fair. Um I was told to get there early and see, like, the king and queen and their court and everything. I didn't, I didn't see them. We got there right as it opened, didn't we? Yeah, I guess we didn't, just weren't, like, quick enough to get in somehow. Oh, that's right. Something was happening. Yeah. As we were getting in. Dumb. As, as we were coming in. <laughs> Are you just going to talk shit about the show the whole time that you didn't get No, I, I'm not even talking about it. I thought about something. Uh, <laughs> it's completely unrelated. Okay. <laughs> Brooks is doing his own show. I'm not. He's listening. I had one outburst and I'm doing my own fucking show now. Okay. So, so I'm just going to take a nap. <laughs> so we, when we were walking in, they were doing, they were like, they had a dance set up and they were pulling people <clears throat> in to dance with them and um, all the like villagers and stuff. I almost said village people, but it wasn't Y-M-C-A. that kind of dance. Um, yeah, then we just made our way through. Um, Jess got a turkey leg first thing. Uh, didn't eat it. Didn't eat it. I, I did had, eat it. I had some. But Turns I just, out she doesn't like turkey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need a turkey leg. Oh, I'm eating flesh. <laughs> Third <Hey, leg>. flesh. <laughs> oh. So, and then I went and I threw some axes. Dead flesh. It tasted like dead flesh, too. Because it is dead flesh, babe. Did it walk yeah, away when, like, when you touched it? What? Huh? It should have. What do you think that chicken you just ate was? Okay, but it doesn't yeah, look right. like... I don't know. One time I had... Or my family made ga- gainish... Gamish? Gainish? I don't know. Cornish? Yeah. 
Cornish hen. Cornish hen. Totally delicious. I would not eat it because it was like it looked like a whole chicken. It was so gross. For a second, I thought you said they're religious. I was like, what? They're what? I'm sorry. You eat your chickens. Delicious. Oh. Um. Yeah. Prices for vendors and stuff. To go back to prices, they were they were decent. Um, what? Where? Some. I mean, for what? Okay. I will say. I do say the prices were expensive, but it was also for things like that probably took hundreds of hours to make. <laughs> yeah, the handmade stuff was even the stuff that was handmade was yes very expensive. It felt to me like a medieval flea market. Yeah, but I I hate saying that because everything was so freaking well made. It was most of it. Yeah, it's. Okay, it was like a medieval flea market, but it's like you ever been to those art shows for rich people? Yeah, it it's was like, like a, they both a rich people. It's like a Renaissance yeah. market. What? Rich people art shows. Yeah. They don't have no art shows. Yeah, they do where they sell like a little quilt for like a hundred dollars. There ain't no art show. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the uh, more uppity arts and crafts shows. Yeah, yeah. Where nah. like they have. I don't know what he's talking about. Beaded necklaces for seventy dollars. Beat it. What? I need my, my charger. What charger? I'll be I'll just play with your table. It should okay. be right next to you. But it was like both of those like 45 things. fucking chargers over here. The pink one. The pink oh, one? Oh, the charging cord. And I need you to plug it into the one the controllers are. In. Uh, that's what mine's what? plugged into. Um, you need to unplug it because mine's about to die. This is one hell of a show, guys. So I'm so glad you're listening to us figure out how to plug in a charger and my daughter needing a drink. Yes, I, I heard you. What would you like to drink? Well, how old are you? Tell, tell the internet what you would like to drink. What? No. Nope. How old that girl is? I don't know. I don't think I want to say. <laughs> She's 27? Go get your own drink. She has a drink. Is my... My phone's still hey. dead. I've been charging it for like an hour. What is that? It's like it's Milo's sweet tea, low carb. Oh. Or no carb actually. Milo. They Yellow started, cap, check it out. They're starting to make a comeback. It's delicious. The regular Milo sweet tea is really good. So it was like a medieval flea market. <laughs> well, and if you just take art out show, the, but take out what? If you just take out the word flea. It yeah, is okay, yeah, you're right. Place. Listen, they had fleas in the Renaissance. I'm I have cool. fleas. Now. Because it was such a mishmash of... Thanks, Brian. I will say, <laughs> there were way too many soap shops. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, notice that? I didn't. <laughs> there was like five soap shops. Probably. Is that like the new thing? Like everyone's doing soap? Make your own soap? And uh, I think it is, much. actually. Did y'all see the goat? Got what goat? No, Chris Jericho wasn't there. Oh, well, fuck. I'm going back to sleep. Riley fed some goats. Yeah. And some donkeys. The donkeys were pretty cool. Were Shrek there? I thought donkeys were jackasses. <laughs> They're done. I made that joke in the red fair, too. I bet no one laughed then either. Did I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, it was funny. Oh, uh, uh, then we, we did some fencing. That was cool. We did, and there, and there will be a video of all this. Um, Brian total whooped my ass. Hey. The I'll second fight, though, holy shit, did we go at it? Yeah, I, I don't. You weren't ready. <laughs> the first fight, it didn't seem like. Uh-uh. I, I felt just, like Oscar. It, it was ready. weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because they attach balloons to the top of your head. Yeah, you know, onto your fencing helmet. That you, there's just no good way to guard that like that. It is kind of weird fighting so high. I almost wish that they were like. Balloons on your chest or something, because that would make more sense, but also be you'd a lot be, harder. Then you'd be able to pop them, man. You'd pop your own balloon. I almost did. It's probably in the video. I did the whole, like, oh, yeah. fancy musketeer thing with, boop, <laughs> my balloon. I think I did it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, that was actually really fun. And the host of that thing was great. Yeah, he was he was awesome. That guy was hilarious. I, he was like, okay, who's next? And I said, these idiots... And he said, who's the bigger idiot? And I pointed right at Brian. <laughs> I thought for a second. I was like, Is, I bet he's pointing at me. Then I pointed. I bet, that was real time. That, that was a lot of fun. Uh, that that whole fight will be up on the YouTube channel, uh, Future of Villains, uh, along with a lot of other footage. Um, 
What were the other games that we did? Oh, you did throwing axes. So many throwing axes. You did. Uh, the first one... Which one was better, the first or second one? The first one, they had, like, normal wooden-handled axes. Yeah, they said that the second as well. No, it was, like, plastic. It was taped. Okay. Both of them were taped. I will ju- it's just the first set looked nicer. Yes, because they were taped in black. The others were taped in... Is that what it was? Yes. Okay. And you know why they're taped? Probably, right. I'm, I'm just assuming, because when you're throwing axes, and if you're good and your placement is tight like mine is... You end up hitting the handles of the other axes. Like I did. Yeah. And then you're, uh, you could split them. So they wrap them in tape so it's less likely to happen. That's just what I'm guessing. Is this like how good your grouping is? Yes, my grouping is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I want throwing axes so bad. They're out of stock. Stop looking at me. You know why I'm looking at you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, that video will be up that shows how good Brian is. <laughs> is not. If you want, you can cut your grass with axes, too. Yeah, I'm not the. I'm definitely not the greatest. I am. But you know, just, well, you're you just good enough to get in lunch. Yeah, What's so. That? I said, well, he is the best in the realm. That's right. Yeah, but you know. Oh, go. God. What? <laughs> Man. No, but I, I, I've decided I'm, I'm building a. a throwing axe do it thing in the backyard you always say you're gonna do something i asked lance i was like can you build me a human-sized chicken coop <laughs> me and you could build a throwing axe thing we just need like a pallet oh they're gonna need band-aids we're gonna need band-aids who uses band-aids nowadays i didn't look we're not loading no more chess <laughs> i cut my finger earlier Good job. sure act like it i am a child and I demanded to be treated as so. I'm a teenager. <laughs> I do not want to pay bills anymore. still in middle school. You cook my dinner, please. And I like SpaghettiOs. No. I have a cat. Will someone treat me like a cat? You just self-identify as a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I self-identify as a cat. That's why I'm so lazy. <laughs> oh, man. So, it, we definitely we do need to build a... A, uh... We just need a big piece of wood and supports for the back of it. And then some planks to throw into. Okay, yeah. Um, So, yeah, you threw the axes the first time. The second time we didn't record it because you did so terrible the first time. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, man. (laughs) And then I went. I I think I did decent. Wait, you went three times? Who, me? He went three times. Yeah, he went two with the first one, and then he did the one at the bar. Oh, Don't save it for later. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but then I went, and Brian said, if you get a bullseye... No, wait, 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 The first time, because you threw a couple, and they weren't sticking. I was like, look, if you don't stick one, you got to walk home. So he stuck one, and I was like, all right, you get a bullseye, and get buying your lunch. I didn't... Because you were down to your last one. I was. Get it. But he kept handing you axes. <laughs> he even handed me an axe, and what did he say? Like, go get your lunch or something? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, eventually man. I got bullseye. I even Robin Hooded that one axe. And yeah. Sparks flew. That was pretty cool. Set some tight grouping. That's right. I love throwing axes. I, you should get throwing axes. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It's something satisfying about it. Yeah, there there's not many things that are better than throwing an axe and just having it stick. Yeah, and then like you had throwing <coughs> stars or throwing daggers. I can name a lot. Me too. I can name some, but it's a family show. But could you have you ever just thrown an axe Ew. and it just stuck? What the hell are you talking about? Throwing axes. Throwing axes. He wasn't. You just, you just you take didn't catch what he said? Never mind. The axe and you throw it into a piece of wood and just. You take the axe and you throw it into the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Put your foot in the pizza box and it's Kevin Hart. The fuck is wrong with y'all? I'm so confused. I was doing Bill Cosby. What are you doing? Kevin Hart. Why? Why are y'all doing that? (laughs) To get a rich. Stop. Is Bill Cosby hilarious? Is he? Yeah. He's also a rapist. I didn't say he was a good person. I said he was hilarious. Anyway, go ahead, bro. Throwing axes. Great. Um, What else do we do? Uh, we saw the parade. Uh, we 
we saw the Mud Show. Mud Show was hilarious. Shout out to the uh, Splatter Time players. Yeah. Which I, I can't help but wonder, is that a shot at the Primetime players? Are they wrestling fans? I should probably ask. I don't think so. No? You know what players are, right? Player uh, Pimps? you never heard the, the phrase, all the world is a stage and we are but players? I, I think so. Did I get that right? I have no idea. Ooh, I, I have no idea, says the supposed Shakespeare fan. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Listen, players if you're going to cut totally me down right. on your podcast, I'm not going to do them anymore. <laughs> you're not doing Dude. Well, you're, you're trying to weigh you down. Who are you doing anyway? Sleeping, I'm tired. Yeah, you got to go to work soon. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Me, me too. That sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, uh, the Mud Show was fantastic. Yes. Yeah, a lot of that will be on the YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, that that was absolutely hysterical. Tuggy and Splickety are the most entertaining people I've ever seen. And I've seen the Mud Show before, and I'm pretty sure it's always the same show. But I, I these guys were better than the other one I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Um, we saw, we heard a lot of great music. It seemed like there was music around every corner. Yes, which I loved. I was there to buy instruments, and no one had any. Yeah, that's really bizarre. We probably should have investigated that a bit more. I looked right? in I the, forgot. I looked in the program, and there was yeah. only one person selling musical instruments. We could have, I'm sure somebody, we could have found this. The, hopefully. Because I really wanted to get a metal tin whistle. And a uh, and I wanted to at least look at some drums. I definitely didn't see any drums. Yeah, Daddy. me either. Okay, so that quote you said. Yes. It's actually, I should know it because it's from one of my favorite plays. It's as you like it. No. And it is all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and close. one man in his time plays many parts. His act being seven seven ages. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Almost, except you didn't do all that. <laughs> that's exactly what you said, except you didn't. <laughs> hey, you guys have right. to stop pulling on that phone. Sit. Which is, I know is exciting for the listeners, but. Uh, and we. What else did we. we so, stop! I'm cold. Riley played a lot of games. She went through yep. a maze, she rode a camel. That maze was awful, by the way. Yeah, we were done in a second, but weird. I made her go around because we paid for it. <laughs> ah, there you go. I don't, the last time when I took her through that maze, at another one that the, with the same setup, I couldn't find my way out. You were taller than it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one at the other one was a uh, was taller. Okay. Like I could see, like I could barely see over the top, but I still couldn't find my way out. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I Riley got her out, and I was like, hey, you have to come back in here and get me out of here. <laughs> He's in the middle of the maze going, Riley, help me! <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. I mean, what? So, in the at Hogtown... No, not Wait, Hogtown. Wait, she what? got out before you? And at the Lady Hold of the on, Lake... Hold on, what? At the Lady of the Lake Fair, uh, Avatar... Are you just going to ignore me, the fact that she almost <laughs> lost our child? I am going to ignore you. And the fact we almost lost. Ow! Um, that was a proxy yell. No, I wasn't. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the Avatar stand. The guy that sells the walking sticks with the crystals on top. They trying to be like Magic Animal Kingdom. What? No, not that Avatar. Oh, Actually, man, I don't the, know which Avatar you're talking about. The font is like the good Avatar. Okay. With Aang. Yeah. But uh, he sells, like, walking sticks with crystals on the top. Hey, okay. man, they're both good avatars. They're not. And uh, he had a really cool maze set up. Because it was actual, like, stone walls. It was foam, but... Yeah. Uh, actual walls, and, like, there was, like, a dragon head on one if you went to the wrong corner. And See, this one looked like it was just, like, panels. It was. It was just fabric panels yeah. tied up. But this one was cool at the Lady of the Lake. And he had part of it there, but... Not the whole maze setup. I think what he uses, I think he uses part of it for his booth. 
And then when he does the maze, it's just like the whole maze. Hmm. He just kind of sets his stuff outside. It's the same guy when we were looking at the digger stuff, the guy who made all the bad ass leather things. Yeah. Um, if it says that D, it'll be <laughs> All right, sorry, the digger booth. Uh, and the guy who came up. Oh, oh my shit. God! I saved it. There goes the pizza. No, it's not a girl yet. <laughs> there you go, So we'll grab that pizza. <laughs> I'm about to fart right now, you <laughs> Oh my god, babe, what are you doing? I, I, oh. I'm taking on a fucking date now. He's got him to the leg. <laughs> I'm the one who paid for his dinner. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's safe here as long as no one's kicking their feet around. She got the Holy Ghost. Oh God! Oh, that's why we need a video. No, yeah. Hit, hit Jess. So a heads up. Well, I woke up. Jess, the mess was living up to her name. <laughs> <laughs> kicked over the table that has pizza and soda oh, and man. on it. It's true. It's damn true. <laughs> nice, Kurt Angle. Nice. Uh, but yeah, and I wanted, I really wanted to buy something from Digger, because all of his stuff was so nice. And that's what I'm talking about, like, everything was, I, I don't want to call it expensive. Right, his stuff was, too, like, it, it was costly. Okay, but it was like, every piece of that leather was touched, every piece of that leather was loved for, and created which and was, it was so well designed yeah like his stuff was so awesome you could tell there was definitely some booths they sold their stuff because everyone else all the other booths had the same stuff yeah they get it from a supplier and then you and come stuff. across a booth like his and you're like what is this yeah like everything <laughs> is... like when he he handed me a bracer he was like hey we even got stuff that fits you he had guys. a story behind everything yeah and he, I put it on, and I'm like, oh, my God. How much is this? But it, it fit so well. You could probably buy it and never... I mean, especially considering we don't get into actual medieval combat. Right. You could probably buy it and never, ever have to buy it again. It would last you your whole life. Yeah. If, if not multiple lifetimes. Oh, I, it would, for sure, yeah. Um, especially if you kept up on it. Yeah. I guess there is a little maintenance for leather stuff. Lance knows more about it. Because he started doing leather working. Uh, we were actually talking about getting together and making some leather stuff. Uh, oh, yes. my, you did it again! You did it again! <laughs> was that a setup? Did you do that on purpose? The pizza is not safe. This is a war on carbs. I've had enough! Enough is enough. Brian snapped. <laughs> Brian just snapped me off. <laughs> I can't take a goddamn nap with my goddamn life spinning on it. Oh my god. I heard someone close my eyes and get start dreaming Brian yelling. Oh my god. Holy take the piece shit. away or something. This is why we can't have nice things. Or nice pizza. Oh, oh look god. at the carpet. The carpet's fucked anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> I love doing this show. <laughs> oh my god. That was a just that was just his attack on you. It yeah. was. I'm fucking just pizza. so you all know, Jess kicked the nightstand, pizza fell over. Just now she picked up Riley and Riley nailed the pizza as well. No, <laughs> she I think she swung Riley into the she pizza. Did. That's what it looked like to me. Did. That is uncalled for. The war on carbs. Those carbs are going down. Twice. <laughs> Apparently. Meet me in the club. The carbs are going down. <laughs> oh, my God. On that note. What? None. As much as we talked about the Renaissance Fair, I think... How, how long has this episode been? We're at 54 minutes. That is. Let's wrap it up. Long enough. All right, A lot more guys. stuff happened at the Renaissance Fair, but watch you the video know about and it. find out. There, yeah, there's going to be a, a pretty good video on it. I got a lot of absolutely great footage. Oh, shit, she's back. <laughs> please please, please don't hurt boxes. the pizza. Um, oh. I, wow. Sorry. <laughs> you just jumped on him, basically. <laughs> um, I'm super proud of the camera rig I built. Yeah, you got a lot of compliments on that. I did. 
I need that picture, by the way, Jess. More compliments than I got on my... <laughs> Shut what the up. hell? <laughs> it looks oh. yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Show me. Oh god. god damn, Jacob! Did he just laugh in two at the same time? Yes. <laughs> I know. I want to laugh. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Oh, God. That should put us into the next podcast. You might know what we're laughing at. You need to send that to me, and I can somehow put it in the podcast. (laughs) To see what we're laughing at. Oh, my God. It's not even that funny. What the hell wrong with you? It's not that funny. (laughs) He just said, what the hell? Stone cold. Stone cold. Stone cold. Stone cold. Stone cold. (laughs) I thought he just said, what's a Roman chew? (laughs) What's a whole of what? I don't know. I don't know what a Roman shoe was either. I ain't say nothing about no Roman. Are we done being idiots? No. <laughs> You're right. We got to do another podcast. No. What you should listen to is a future Heels podcast. It's going to be a special WrestleMania episode, kind of, maybe. But thank you for listening to this podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. You can find me on Facebook, Best in the Realm Gaming, Twitter, at Best in the Realm, YouTube, Best in the Realm, Twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Jeremy Brooks 42 at Twitter, J Brooks 42 at Instagram, fuck Facebook, that stuff gets my ass. The war on pizza will continue. Bullshit. You can find me on Twitter at Bryman25 or on Instagram, Bryman138. You can't find me anywhere because I'm a very private person. You can find all of our content on futurevillains.com. Uh, the Facebook is Future Villains, Twitter at Future Villains, YouTube Future Villains, which will have a very special video about the Renaissance Festival. Thank you so much for having us out, Tampa Bay area Renaissance Festival. Barf. Thank you. It was awesome. Everybody was super nice. Thank you. Except for the guy that jumped in front of my fucking camera. And <laughs> hey, by the way, let them know about that guy. Well, Where did he, he work? Well, they're going to hear about it right now. <laughs> he didn't work for the fair, though, did he? Yes, he, yes did. he did. He was very rude. I'll oh, kick his then, ass next time. Then we'll time. just let it go. Because the Ren fair is great. It is other than that guy. And if that guy is listening, I don't like you. <laughs> um, but you can find all this content, like Jim I said. Say he'll kick your ass. I didn't say that. Sea bass. I didn't say that. But you can find all of this content <laughs> on futurevillains.com. Slash www.fewtruevillains.com. That's Future Villains. Thank you for listening, guys. Did you ever mess that up? We go!